Aloha, welcome to 808 Deaf News. So, what happened at the Eddie Aikau Big Wave Invitational at Waimea Bay on the North Shore of Oahu? Predictions, expectations, excitement, and high hopes as everyone anticipated this event to take place. As part of my news commentary last week, it actually happened on Sunday, January 22, 2023. The announcement was made and 40 surfers were invited, including six women. The weather and surf conditions were perfect. The monster swells kept coming one after another. They were rough and powerful. The mana of nature is inspiring and powerful. Crowds of people gathered, filled with excitement to watch this all-day event. Professional surfers catching and riding these monster waves again and again. Wow! Kelly Slater did not participate in the event. He gave his spot to another surfer. All the other surfers went ahead and surfed. Luke Shepardson clinched the title. He got first place. He is not a professional surfer. He is a lifeguard and happened to be on duty that day. He was monitoring everyone and everything, making sure everyone was safe. He asked his boss if he could take a break from work to participate in the event. His boss released him from his duties. He gets out and surfs the waves and ends up winning first place. The top score is 90. His score was 89.1. He beat professional surfer John John Florence and others. It was an unexpected win for him. The prize was $10,000. Congratulations, Luke. Others were thrilled as they congratulated him for winning the Eddie Aikau. A lifeguard working at Waimea Bay, saving people. Funny how now, Luke, the lifeguard, and winning the eddy, a perfect combination. Congratulations. Also, the women surfers made history. These women are the first to ever join this event. Up until now, only men were invited, now women. Wow! One surfer, Keneally, who is an incredible surfer, was the first woman ever to be invited as a non-alternate and as others were alternates. History in the making. She should have participated in the 2017 event, however, it did not occur. She waited and then was invited back in 2023. Historical, having women involved in this event. This was a big day. Crowds of people gathered, which created a lot of safety issues. Many lifeguards kept busy, issuing warnings, posting signs, etc. Large waves roared ashore, slamming into people on the shoreline and dragging them into the ocean. One large wave slammed into two adults and a baby, washing the baby away. Lifeguards quickly retrieved the baby. People were injured from falls and other accidents. Grateful to the lifeguards, keeping people safe. Their help and making sure everyone was okay. We get so fascinated with what's going on, we overlook how dangerous these mar monster waves really are. Lifeguards made a total of 64 rescues. Those of you who went to the North Shore to watch the eddy, did you take pictures or videos? Go ahead and share your photos and videos and comments below. The next segment of the news 
features a strange object way up in space. The Subaru telescope on Mauna Kea captured video last week of a mysterious light over Hawaii. The flying spiral was trapped across the sky And although there was much speculation of its origin, it was clear that it wasn't a bird, a plane, or a UFO. A week later, it was determined that the strange spiral was a new satellite that was launched earlier that day by SpaceX. SpaceX sent a global positioning satellite into space for the U.S. Space Force on Wednesday. Although we now know that the object is a satellite, there are still many others who don't know what it is. Did you see it and wonder what it was? COVID is the next topic. As of today, January 25th, there have been 11 additional COVID deaths in the past seven days. That brings the death toll to 1,786. There are 1,052 new cases this week. This doesn't include home testing, which could mean the number of new cases are higher than reported. So with this being winter flu season, stay safe and healthy.